Hello everybody, Element 12 here, and I'm playing Hot of Full Boyfriend. Oh, let me move my mouse cursor. Let me just sit here and absorb the screen for like an hour. Pause it and just look at this. You know it's gonna be like the best game we've ever fucking played. Let's do this. New game. I literally just bought this like today. It came out. St. Pigeon Nation's Institute. Welcome to St. Pigeon Nation. Please enter your name. Okay, my name. How do you enter my name? Oh, okay. I am Jesse. There. Last name is. Uh. Am I, I should maybe put my real life last name. Uh, Jesse. I don't know. Yeah. Yo, Johan. Jesse Johan. There you go. Just Johan. <laughs> Johan is Jesse Johan. Okay. Um. Yes. It's very much okay. Hot for boyfriend includes a powerful visualization module. Allowing even the birdiest of birds to appear as normal humans when first introduced. Display human portraits? Well... I guess? Sure. I guess I'm supposed to. Configuration saved. Good. I don't know what that means. Say Pigeon Nation is a school blessed with extensive curricula and facilities. Faculties. It's already been a year since I ended my ordinary life and walked through these gates. I should probably say, schools know for one thing in particular. The school's Japan's, no, the world's greatest gathering place for gifted birds. Birds who want to study the arts, the scientists, even sports all come to St. Peter Nations. The teaching staff and student body are both made up of a diverse blend of birds, of, of, of birds of different backgrounds and species. I'm often asked why I chose to go come here, despite not being a bird. It's a long story. Not every day I see you rushing along like this. <gasps> Ryota. Oh, okay, his voice. Usually you'd have you usually you'd have been ready about an hour by now, Jazzy. Overslept. Up. Oh. oh, hey, it's Ryota. Ah, oh, he's a beautiful little man. This rock dove is named Kawara Ryota. We've been met. We've been friends since he's been. He was barely hatched. He can be a little mischievous, but he's responsible and kind. Breakfast was a little hard to catch today. I can't relax without red meat inside. Living as a hunter gazer sounds tough. I'd be happy to make you breakfast, you know. I might take you up on that offer when starvation looms. Thanks, Ryota. Oh, time for school. Oh, the bell already! Come on, we need to hurry to class. Jeepers, not being late on the first day. I don't know. His voice is kind of constantly changing. And so Ryota pulled me along into the school, which he's a dove, so I guess pulling is not going to be that easy. Today so was starting a new semester. I wonder what lies in store. It was all I could do to adjust to the atmosphere last year. Better make up for all that lost fun. Good. Well, hot my boyfriend, the most splendid and be of the pigeon, by the pigeon, and for the pigeon. First term. Look at that beautiful stock heart of pitches in the heart. So I'm assuming this is a dating sim? We're in 2 3. I think we're in 2 3. Ryota and I are the same class again. Old faces, new faces. A strange thrill fills my heart as I look around at all the assembled birds. I hope we all get along. Here's to the formation of many happy memories. Oh, the teacher's here. Uh. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Can I give him a? I'll give him like the judge voice from Face Right. Good morning, everybody. Uh, I'm Nanaki Kasuyaki. I seem to be your teacher this year. I specialize in math and physics, and also some other things. <sighs> okay, good. I gave the the constantly falling asleep one judge voice. That's worse in my favor. Sir, wake up! It's homeroom. He sleeps with his eyes open. Oh, hello, lovely, beautiful man. This quail is Nanaki Kaizuaki. 
He is a famously sporadic math professor. I'd heard the rumors, but I hadn't expected him to fall asleep just like that. Apparently, he's well known as a mathematician. Just goes to show, great minds come in all forms. Also, he's a bird. Oh, okay. oh I'm sorry. Hmm. Quarter to Darwin session. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Wow, oh, I'm sorry. Is it just a little warm in here? Which reminds me, oh, we have a transfer student. Please introduce yourself, Shirogane. Ooh, this is a flamboyant bird. Oh! He has his own theme song. What is the point? I have no wish to speak with commoners. Do not think I am here because I wish to be. Oh, well, I guess that's that. Hey, hey, hey! That's no good! But he doesn't want to introduce himself. But we can't just let him break the rules like that, sir. The system will collapse and we'll all turn into kulaks and dissenters? I don't know what those words mean. Well, when you put it like that, would you at least say your name, Shirogane? Mm. Shirogane Label Sakuya. Oh, look at this lovely man. Wait, am I the girl in the situation? I think I'm the girl in the situation. I didn't realize that. I think it is. It seems this fat tail is Shirogai Sakia. His feathers would be make any birdie proud. He's pretty stuck up, but then transferring is never easy. I hope we can be friends. I don't think that's ever gonna happen. Sakuya sits down, glares daggers at Ryota and me. Ryota and I, whatever. I think this little bird is telling me there's going to be trouble down the line. Oh, oh, gang fight, fight. Lunch already. Time is slipping by so quickly. That reminds me. I have I have these books out from the library all summer. I'll return them now. I'll have to sell my body if I want to pay off those late fees. Where is everybody? Aside from the receptionist, there's hardly any birdie here. Is everything where it's like everybody and anybody is going to be replaced with birdie? Oh my god, that's going to be... Probably annoying after a while. Or no, immediately. Huh? Is someone looking at me? Probably just my imagination. Oh, there you go. Or not! A morning dove sits in a dark corner, staring in my direction. Morning doves aren't very common in Japan, but apparently they're everywhere in this America place that I've never heard of. Um, do you want something from me? Ugh, the Geki's his name. He looked away. Not really. Wait, I'll give him a monotone voice. Not really. I'm pretty sure it was him who uh, felt looking at me. There's no one else here. Are you sure? Yeah, I don't want anything right with you. I don't want anything with you? What? That's a weird line. It's the things that you carry to mention in. He glasses at my desk as to say, Who ever turned him already? Oh, sorry. <laughs> They were a little too dense and I never finished them. Were you waiting for them all summer? Uh, he silently returns his gaze to his book. How's a bird read a book? Maybe he's in a bad mood? I'm Johan Jesse. <laughs> Wait, why's his last name first? Oh, right, it's Japanese. Okay. I'm Johan Jesse, a sophomore. What about you? Your. <laughs> Nageki. Fujishiro Nageki. Freshman. I see this guy. Oh, he's the shy, awkward, quiet one. Fuji Siro Naneki. Nageki. Na 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 na. Huh? Morning doves are pretty rare in Japan. Maybe it's just his voice, but he seems kind of sad. Leave me alone. He's reading his book again. Okay, sorry to bother you. <laughs> I keep meeting depressing people today. I think he's the only depressing one. I think I was kind of a jerk. Now that I have that out of the way, I think I head back to class. Wait, is it that? <gasps> you should have been instructed not to approach me in school. Come on, so oh yeah, what's this guy? Um, 
He's also a dove, but I guess a slightly. Di oh, it's his brother. Okay. And then the guy's like, hmm, yes, indeed. This guy's gonna be like, ah. Wait. Hello. Mm -hmm, yes, indeed. Ooh, hello. Yeah, I'll give one to Beaver Boy. Ooh. This is just like rock and beat right now. Anyway. Hmm. Come on, Sakuya. What kind of thing is it to say to your own brother after all these years? My brother, you must be joking. You've never once been a brother to me. Please, don't try to talk to me again. I have no time for half-breeds. I'll be going now. Ooh, half-breeds. Hey, wait just a... Uh... Oh... Uh, I guess even if we're in the same school... Wait. I guess even if we're in the same school, now what's done is done. That's a weird line. I didn't mean to eavesdrop, but I think I overheard something juicy. The ever popular trendsetter and ladies man, Sakazaki Yuya, is Sakuya's brother. I wonder what the story behind that is. Hey. Really? You heard the whole thing, right? You are a friend of Sakuya's. Uh, uh, oh, got a little slight screen movement there. I, 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 I'm sorry. I didn't mean to listen in on you. Uh, not that noise. Ha ha, no sweat. Birds don't sweat, I don't think. I try to stay sexy and suave in front of all of you little ladies. Okay, I am a lady, apparently. Okay, I didn't know that. It was not very clear, I assumed the whole cast is men. I assumed I was a lady, okay. But, I didn't think of that at the top of my head, though. But that there wasn't so cool. Or too cool. Ooh, look at this suave young gentleman. This fantail pigeon is Sakazaki Yuya, an upperclassman. I've never talked to him before, but he's famous, or infamous, throughout the school. Every birdie knows him. Yep, gonna keep up the whole birdie thing. You're, you're Jesse, right? Uh, how did you? I know every birdie here. Besides, you're the only human. A single poppy in a field of rye. Did you say you were a friend of Sakuya's? Not exactly. We had a rather ballistic introduction this morning. We're in the same class, that's all. <laughs> Ever had thought that stuck up aristocrat wannabe was your brother? Aristocrat wannabe? He is an aristocrat, actually. The genuine article, article in the flesh and the feathers. He is? He's a bit of a pain, so good luck, mon ami. Adieu. Oh, I, I do. He really is a noble bird. Okay. <laughs> I had never... I've never heard anything like that about you, yeah, though. Probably a twisty business. Dun, dun. Alright, that's all for today! Oh, wait. Oh, that's all for today! Wait. Cruise is now! Yeah. That's all for today! Stay safe, everyone! Yay! Huh? Sir, where's Ryota? He said he was going to the infirmary! Maybe you should go and see if he's still there. Now that I think about it, Ryota's always did have a weak stomach. I should go to the infirmary just to make sure he's okay. Oh, trash looping. Okay, good. <laughs>